Michael Kuti with a good touch as well. Good intervention there by Bangladesh. It's Monica Chakma. A shot in there. Atun seems to be the only player, and that is a mistake here from Nepal. Could be dangerous still. A header still there. Angela. What an horrendous piece of this match. Unfortunate for the Bengal Tigresses. This could have been the first goal for Hura. She's with five goals in this tournament and is the only probable player who can over overtake Dekhi. Near the best. It seems like the nerves are back. Mind. We can see their gameplay. And that is the opportunity that Nepal wanted. The final. Sabina Khatun, the highest scorer of the Bangladeshi women's team. Saru Limbu seems to be the progressive one. And the pivots. This is Sabita. Sabita with the cross. Trying to find Samba. Going forward is Rupna. And she finds. Should be helpful for Nepal, especially overloading the midfield. We just saw Anjana, the, one of the heroes of the previous match. Renuga trying to find Samba in the channel side. This can be a chance here for Nepal. Samba going forward. Samba with a cutback here. Well, sometimes it goes to your favor, but most of the time your second striker needs to be aware as well. The run the Savitra had, as you can see, there was. Marios, a pass that, that was intervened there. Ritu with the shot, which goes high and wide. Tuning in with the Samba as well. She has been. Proven in this position, Kiti. Going forward is Bangladesh. A good clearance there. Or is it? Still is a chance. Bangladesh moving forward. A clearance can be there. Anjila lets it out. And catches it easily there. It was clipped in the process. Uh, is very much visible in every attack that Bangladesh lead from the left side. It was some scary moment for Nepali backliner. Jila, as I was mentioning, a movie is being made on her life, that is the biography, the first one of its kind in Nepali industry. You can see Peter Butler, Englishman, has played for West Ham and West Bromwich Albion as well. And has been looking after the BFF Elite Academy. Sabitra going from the left hand side, still Samba, putting it in, trying to find a partner. From the right hand side, there still is a chance as Sabita is trying to get to that one. The ball will go out. Set up those passes and the crosses, but yet again, yeah, there needs to be a second striker or a sadder striker who needs to read the run of Savitra. Well, seems to be a, be a bit cautious here. Trying to find Samba, still there. Samba, still there. Still a chance. Amisha. Amisha! It's the crossbar. That was unlucky for Nepal. Still cutting it. Still can be a chance. Amisha going forward. Amisha with the shot. This is equal to the occasion. Preeti going forward. Preeti trying to find Samba. Samba goes forward and flag still raised down. Problematic for Bangladesh. Well, look like Amrita just. Yeah. Clearly can be seen an offensive error from the centre back of Nepal. Even award for AFC Member Association of the Year Gold. And here is another attack. This can be another moment for Bangladesh. From the left hand side, it's Ritu Porna. Chakma with the cross. Can be dangerous. Anjila still there. And catches it with Khatun, the top scorer. Bangladesh cutting it in, finding the space. Trying to be patient, the Bangladeshi side. Trying to find those little spaces in the creative area. This will be an attempt straight into the hands of Anjila. Well, Sam Shuna is 30 yard round. But is it. This will be the easiest of chances for saves there by Anjila. Bangladesh in pressure. With control there, Samba will chase for this one. As you can see, Samba is hounding the Bangladeshi defenders in each and every moment. 
vicious nature of this predator samba looking for the kill and now nepal get a throw in from the right wing bimala bika with a throw in she's known for her long throw ins this time another long one Sa sabita trying to flick it onto the danger area well in the modern day football the long throw in are sort of a set piece it's a tactics that most of the coaches opt are going for the attacking third bimala the throw in this time cross that was denied as a free kick it will be a throw in again the assistant referee says it was accidental a cross put in this can be dangerous here for and nepal still get the chance that was horrendous there from rupna chakma uncharacteristic there from the best goalkeeper of the 2022-22 edition well, Spartan fumbles couple of fumbles now in this particular fixer for Rupna Chakma foul free kick for Nepal the referee for today is Varman Kanika will clearly look like a foul Tahura Khatun had no other options rather and sliding from behind and Preeti as visible sees it's, it's immediately calling for a foul the other set piece chances for Nepal a free kick put in Samba trying to flick it in force that ball into the danger area Bimala was a miss pass there Sabina Monica trying to release Ritu with her blistering pace Well, a good track back by Savita Ranamagar. Well, in the previous previous match, she had that encounter with Manisa Kalyan. Uh, today, it's Ritu who will be exploiting the left flank for Bangladesh. Pooja, Preeti, wonderfully done. Venuka in this aggressive group of ladies she's the calm one Renuka Nagarkoti the heart and soul of the team Sabita trying to find that angle with the cross Sabita with the cross this time cleared Renuka trying to find that space still Renuka clearance Nepal with the majority of the possession possession as you can see here the cross put in easily collected there by Nepal Nepal Trying to be cautious, slowly going forward. Preeti, good turn there. Look at a go. Such low center of gravity. And that's what makes up one of the most brilliant players that Nepal has. Sabitra Bhandari Samba, trying to find Amrita. A good chance here. Amisha still going. Amisha, and that was a blunder. Not the best of first touches. Followed up by the second one. Being, uh, performing, performing ever so brilliantly in the right back position, filling up the position of Ira Bujel, who was injured. Angela says it's mine, and that is a problem. A shot put in there. Another chance goes back in there for Bangladesh. This was a mistake there from the Nepali defense. Well, Monica Chakma acknowledges her mistake that she was not in position to. Get the shot on target, but Angela she's animated as there was a call that she was running for the ball. Should have been a clean gathering for Angela. Well, after everything happened in the semi-final, the security has been strengthened. So you can see a heavy security line 
Samba trying to get to this one. A good flick there. Combination which was broken there from Renuka. Saru. She has been excellent. Renuka Nagakoti. Samba with the touch. Still going from the left. Still Samba. You can see three players lingering around her. Well, good challenge by Samsunar Jr. Well, Bangladesh is quite aware about the threat Savitra poses. And as you can see, three players trying to cover up those spaces that Savitra would like to deploy or have a setup. This is it, Sovin. Amrita with the ball. A cross put in in no man's land. Perhaps she could have done better, as you can see. The spectators are relishing this moment. What better than this for them? We've waited for this kind of occasion. It's time for the festivals. And it's the football festival here in the capital city. Good control there from Maria Manda. Even better from Preeti. She has been a calm player. Gita with the lofted pass, trying to find Samba again. The missed pass there. Trying to clear it out. This is, this is another chance for Bangladesh to flourish with. A good defense there from Preeti this time. Renuka. Clattered in the process. This is a build up there from the right wing for Samsun Ha Jr. Wonderfully done. Samsun Nang goes forward. The Hura was intervened there from the player. A foul there in favor of Nepal. You can see on the replay, Savitra clearly fouled by Tahura Khatun. There was a descent from Monica Maria Manda. Has never been lively in the midfield for the team. Lots of goals scored in this tournament. 59 goals in 11 matches with an average of 5.36 goals. That has been one of the highest tallies. Lofted pass here. It's straightly going. Rupna was beaten. That was the match against Chinese Taipei, a friendly. And now, this can be a chance here. Bangladesh, they go forward. Ritu! As the Bengal Tigress at this moment, he will be happy with this one. Ritu was just right at the moment. What a player this winger. Savita with the... Miss pass there. Nepal go behind. As we were saying, they can be vicious. Well, it's a comp. Nepal going into the back five. Has backfired here. A pass put in there. A pass here for Amisha. Who's going up front? Amisha! attack in the second half for Nepal and it's again the Preeti the initiator of the attack wonderful through ball just going through a full Bangladeshi player to the right it was a very fantastic finish from Amisa Karki they put an arrow into heart of the Bengal Tigresses as they were hopeful had to take chances, half chance we can say. Well, Rasmi wanted to play that ball earlier to Savitra, but who had already taken her run. And Savitra, yeah, not the cleanest of connection that she wanted to have. Coming in front is Ritu. With her dancing feet. Maria Manda! Perfectly timed ball, Savitra 
still with the ball. Sabitra. Sabitra with the shot. That was ambitious, but couldn't find the target. And it to the penalty shootout. As there will be no extra time in this match, as we can confirm. A good change of pace, a cross put in. Header by Gita. Clear there by the Nepali defender, but couldn't go further. Monica Chakma, a shot put in there. Goalkeeper will be relaxed. Now Samba, she has the chance. Still Samba. And that is cleared. Not quite further. Sabita will come forward. This from the right inside. Sabita with the cutback or perhaps a cross. Layoff there. Rashmi. Rashmi. And that was a deflection easily. To go forward, as you can see, a heavy line of defense from Nepal trying to play cautiously. The cross put in there. Anjila! That was a goal for the Bengal Tigresses once again. The ski. This can be a heartbreak for the Nepali fans. Well, Anubasmet, as I was mentioning, why it was very necessary that Savita to deploy from the right channel. As she was, she had been player marking Ritipurna Chokma throughout this fixture. But some unfortunate, but I think it was going in. Swapna Rani. It's almost done for Bangladesh. As the main referee, Kanika Borman, is looking at her watch. And that is the full time as Bangladesh make history once again here. Winning it for consecutive two times, the Bengal Tigresses becoming a powerhouse nation in this.